Do you have that one friend? That one friend who's been with you through thick and thin? They've been with you and stood by your side for years. Maybe you don't have a friend like that. Those kind of friendships are rare. But I bet you want one. I think we all do. A great example of a friendship like that is in the book of 1 Samuel, and it's the friendship of David and Jonathan. Jonathan was the son of King Saul, and he was actually in line for the throne. But because of his father's wickedness, God told Jonathan that he wasn't going to get to fill that role. That role was actually going to be given to his best friend, David. Now for some people, this would probably be a huge temptation to be envious and jealous, but not for these two friends. Their friendship was so strong that Jonathan actually helped David become king and protected him from his father. The Bible says that Jonathan loved David so much that he loved him as his own soul and that he called him his brother. And David describes their love as extraordinary and that their friendship was like their souls were knit together. Deep down, we all want a friend like that. The only problem is they're really hard to find. So where should we look? It's interesting that as we move away from the stories of Jonathan and David and into the New Testament, God is actually going to tell us exactly where to look to find a friend like this. The Apostle Paul writes to the church at Laodicea and Colossae, and he tells them that he wants them to be this way. He wants their souls to be knit together in love, and that's part of the way that they'll experience the riches of Christ. It's amazing that Paul uses the exact same phrase that was used to describe the unity between Jonathan and David as he uses here to describe the unity that should be between fellow Christians. And it wasn't a mistake. You see, the church was never intended to be what many people have made it, just a place where we come together and meet a couple people that we know one or two times a week, shake everybody's hand and go through the formalities, and then leave and forget about each other until the next appointed time. The church, from the beginning, was meant to be a family, a group of brothers and sisters bearing each other's burdens and nurturing, inspiring friendships. Isn't that exactly what Christ gives to us? Christ is described as our brother and our friend. And don't we then owe that back to the people who are also a part of his body, the church? Can you imagine how amazing the church will look to the world when every Christian shares the kind of love that David and Jonathan had for each other? It wouldn't look like anything else on the earth. People would be drawn to it. And that's exactly what it should look like. Because the church isn't from earth. It's from heaven. So back to the question. Where can I find a friendship like this? For those who are already in the church, if your congregation doesn't already look like this, Begin to nurture those friendships and begin to knit your soul to the people who you worship with. If you aren't a member of the church, your best friend may be waiting for you there, waiting to join in unity and friendship with Jesus.